Alright guys, so today is leg ham day. We have an 18 pound leg ham that we are going to be putting in the pit barrel right here behind us. Uh, got a little bit of backyard cleanup to do at the same time. So make sure you check out the video. Uh, this is actually going to be a combined video. Uh, we are going to be doing step by step on how to do the leg ham. Um, and then that's it. We're going to uh, run it through. Put it in the pit barrel, uh, take it out later on tonight, and that's about it. Guys, Powerhouse Barbecue t-shirts are available on Amazon. They are around about 20 bucks, I think they are. Um, if you are a Prime, Amazon Prime, make sure you use that Amazon Prime to get free delivery. Alright guys, take care, we'll be back soon. Uh, so what we're going to be using is rockwood charcoal, it's lump charcoal, it's 100% Missouri hardwood. Um, I found that this lump charcoal uh, does last the longest, um, use some other great brands as well, but uh, rockwood is definitely the way to go. Uh, rockwood charcoal is available at Harry's Saw Shop on Bobby Jones in Martinez, so you guys give it a try. And we are about to fire it up. This thing here pumps out enough gas to get the rockwood started. As you can see right there, it's already starting to smoke up a little bit. We're just going to let it sit there for uh, probably the usual 10 minutes. But it's clean. Um, there is no uh, excess smoke from paper or toilet rolls or anything like that. It's... Uh, just good clean burning lump charcoal. All right guys, so what you just seen was the preparation of the 18 pound uh, leg ham, <laughs> sorry. Um, also the injection, which was actually a method that uh, I followed from Karibiku, from Kurt Halls. Make sure you do follow him. He's got some awesome tips on how to actually prepare your meat. Um, you inject it inside the bag, inside the back bag, inject it, that way everything stays inside. Uh, once you're done, undo it, put your rub on top, you're good to go. So, that being said, we are done with the injection, we're done with the preparation, we rubbed it down with Harry's Saw Shop. Cross cut, right there. Make sure you pick it up at uh, Harry's Equipment Center on Bobby Jones. Um, we've put it in the pit barrel, as you've seen just a little bit earlier. Um, we will be hitting that temperature right around about. I'm actually got the ink bird, uh, the ink bird four. I'm using two of the probes right now, but uh, the ink bird is running the uh, pit barrel uh, PVC temperature. 
and it is also monitoring the uh, temperature of the 18 pound uh, leg ham that we've got in there. So remember, Harry's crosscut. Oh, there we go. There we go. Harry's crosscut for all your pork. Uh, mix it up. It doesn't have to just go on pork. It can go on anything you want. A um, little bit of drizzle happening right now, but it's not going to stop us. We are going on. We actually just went on at one o'clock, right at one o'clock. Uh, this is going to take around about ten hours to hit that 165 mark. We don't care because I'm actually off for the whole weekend, which is actually a first. Um, a lot of cleaning up to do. As you can see, the backyard is pretty messy right now. Um, but we injected it as well. Put the injection in, which was 50-50 of uh, apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Using the Oklahoma Joe injector, got right in there, right in the middle, right down to the bone. You guys, take care and remember, Powerhouse Barbecue is available on Amazon.com. Go to my link, my link tree, click on that. And if you guys are interested in pit barrel, also click on that as well because where are they? Oh, there they are. Right there. Excuse the mess. Don't worry about that mess. But um, click on uh, pit barrel if you want to buy yourself a pit barrel, any pit barrel junior, pit barrel classic, or any accessories that you need. Click on that link in Linktree and uh, it'll take you right there. Um, make sure that you also do follow me on uh, YouTube. I haven't been that consistent on YouTube, but I'm trying to. So guys, take care. Have a good day. Remember, Harry Saw Shop, Powerhouse Barbecue, Pit Barrel, and uh, Karibiku, of course, where it all began. And... Uh, Everyone, take care. Have a great uh, Saturday. Peace. We are in the middle of a thunderstorm, which is normal for me, which is actually quite funny because every time I like do a big long cook, there is always a nice thunderstorm to go along with it. But this thunderstorm has been uh, well worth it because we did get through about uh, a whole two weeks of no storms, no rain, no nothing, just 100 degrees weather. So right now we are spritzing this uh, leg ham as much as we can. I'll show you guys what we can. And then we're going to put the lid back on it. And let it go for another, uh, there we go, got some heat going on. Look at that. All right, so we have gotten to the final stage and we have transferred the 18 pound leg ham into the Kingsford because the thing is so big that we actually can't actually wrap it and leave it sitting horizontal in the pit barrel because it just exceeds it. So we are about to wrap this. We've got it sitting over again, a whole ton of uh, Rockwood charcoal and apple wood and uh, I think we're up to uh, let me look at what time it is 
10.20, so we are actually at the 9 hour and 20 minute mark right now. Check out that bark. That is 9 hours and 20 something minutes of just sitting there in the pit barrel. Bit of uh, apple spritz, apple juice and apple cider vinegar. 50-50 mix is what we've been using. <clears throat> um, what do you guys think? Post your comments. Really, I'm not going to read your comments if you say it's really bad, but you know. You know what I'm saying. This is the way I cook, so I don't care. But uh, everyone enjoy.